I'm going to be releasing episode number two on my Vulcan RSPS series and there's a lot of content to show. Subscribe, like the video, and comment your in-game name as well as your current in-game goal for a chance to win some mystery boxes. Good luck everyone! Eventually, I'm going to want the max cape. I've started different skills in my combat training such as fire making, wood cutting, mining, and combat stats. I got another 10 league points unlocked for receiving a slayer task from Duradel. To actually work on and complete this task, I'm going to need level 30 combat, so that will be my first goal. Sand crabs are very easy as they don't hit hard and have high hit points. I'm going to be AFKing here for now, getting my base combat stats up. They have a cool mass boss, the Awaken Next, which is spawning. I won't be competing in it, but it is awesome how the server includes features like this. I've got 47k spare, so I'm going to be buying some new scimitars and combat supplies. For now, I'll just grab the Mithril and Adamant scimitar. I've just received level 24 combat, so I'll be training here at Alcarid Warriors. It's a multi-combat zone, and you can stack multiple on you at once. And there's level 25 combat achieved, along with 10 league points received. I'm now at the Yaks training spot. I'm going to be staying here and comparing the experience rates to mobs like Sand Crabs and the Elkrid Warriors. There's loads of Yaks in its single combat, so I can AFK here for quite some time. Since I'm now officially over level 30 combat, I'll be grabbing a Slayer task, and my first ever task is 40 Fire Giants. And I got just under 7k coins left. I'm going to dump all this cast into magic supplies. So I'm actually fully out of coins. I can't even afford to teleport. So I'm off to do some thiefing. I've also just organized my bank into categories to keep my account a little smoother. So I'll be starting at the crafting stall. I'm already level 10 thiefing. We'll see how that goes. I've also got permission to open some of these mystery boxes to display some spins and loot to you guys. Let's see how this one goes. I'm going to be spinning the rest of these boxes, so I hope I get lucky and let's see what I can get. Overall, my luck with these mystery boxes was insane. The Visage, the Zora Scales, and the Voidwalker Blade is awesome. You also get things like mystery box scraps. Once you get enough, you can combine them into a box. I ended up selling this granite mall I got for 10k coins. I'm really needing coins as I'm completely out due to the magic supplies. I also price checked a few things with the grand exchange, but I'm not listing any of my items for sale. So at this point, I'm starting to realize I'm going to need a lot more coins for the bigger upgrades. I'm going to power through some thiefing levels to see where I can get. Also, while thiefing, I continue to complete league tasks. Guys, this episode has been an absolute blast. So much progress and required items have been acquired and been complete. I will have a new episode releasing later this week with lots more progress and maybe even be moving into some bossing. Don't forget to comment your in-game names down below for a chance to win the mystery boxes and good luck everyone. Peace.